you played Stony Brook a bunch of times in your uh, UNH career here. They're always uh, they always seem to have a, a really good running game and uh, you know seem to work play action off that. What's what's the challenges you face uh, as a secondary? I guess taking on this team. Um, yeah, obviously they're there, obviously a running team, and uh, they got a, a, actually a trio of running backs that are really good this year. Um, showing a lot of stuff on film. Um, so the number one thing for us is stop the run. Obviously, that's gonna it's a number one goal in mostly every game, but especially this game. Um, and we, we want to just, you know, stop the run and then see what else they'll give us and just keep playing our sound defense that we've been playing. And um, so I just go from there. And I'm, I think we're all excited just to play a different uh, color jersey. Um, so we're just hoping to get to the game fast as possible. So hopefully they don't wear those dark blue ones they have, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe the red ones would be better. <laughs> Evan, can you talk about uh, your group, uh, the defensive backs? And there, there's some experience there for sure but there's some inexperience there as well. So how have you how have you all kind of worked to try to gel and uh, to make sure everybody's on the same page? Um, yeah, it's actually, uh, I mean, me, me and Pop Bush have been uh, starting out together for about I think, two, two years now, um, but I mean, it really feels like three or four considering we had the year off last year and we played one game, but I mean, essentially we've had a year off. So, I mean, throughout those years though, I mean, um, it, it's not like we've been doing nothing. Um, I mean, Pop and I have taken it upon ourselves to kind of you know, build a group um, and we have a lot of young guys. I mean, I was a young guy once, Pop was a young guy once, I had to step up. So, I mean, that's how I always look at it. Tell the guys all the time, like, listen, it doesn't matter how young you are. I mean, we, we, we were once young guys before we became old guys. I mean, now I'm a really old guy, but I mean, two years ago, I wasn't that old of a guy. So, I mean, it's just like, obviously experience plays a factor into it, but um, I think that they'll be ready to play if their number is called. And it's always the next man up mentality. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's just, if your number's called, they just got to step up. It's all, you know, they'll, they'll be prepared for it if they have to. Coach said you're uh, moving to free safety from uh, strong safety. Uh, could, could you talk about what just as a player, what different responsibilities do you have? What's uh, what what sort of different mentality you have to have for those of us that didn't play defensive back? Believe um, yeah, it's going to be a little, a little different for me this year, but I mean, it'll, it'll essentially the, the same in my opinion. Um, you, know, you got different responsibilities, obviously, in different play calls, but I'm still going to be making the calls I have to make and you know, a lot of the stuff isn't going to be based off of me, but there's going to be, uh, you know, certain formations where I'm better in one situation than another guy. And there's also situations where a guy is better than me in a certain situation in, in this scenario. So there's a lot of different things that go into it and why I'm moving around. But as a senior, i um, being around here for a little while. Um, I know the defense pretty well. So I'm able to be able to move around and help the, uh, the defense in any way I can. So it's not really um, that different in my honest opinion. So. Want to kind of give us your opinion of what you've seen from the UNH offense, and obviously it's changed with Max not being back there. But uh, your eyes can can kind of pick up what these guys are doing, maybe compared to a couple of years ago. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I think they're, they're they're looking just as good. I mean, Brett Brett is just as capable as as Max was. Um, so I mean, obviously um, it's, it's a big loss to hurt hurt Max, but at the end of the day, we we recruit guys for a reason, just like I said earlier about, you know, having the next guy up with the safety mentality. I mean, Brett prepares like a starter and he always has been. So I think he, he'll be just fine. Um, and the, the offense itself is looking well. I mean, Dylan and, and Carlos are really playing well. Um, and the receivers are, are, are playing as well. Uh, well. Um, it's been weird because the last couple of weeks we've been, you know, focusing on Stony Brook. So it's been hard to see um, any other guys really progress because camp kind of ended um, about a, a week or two ago. So for the last week or two, it's been, mostly just Stony Brook stuff. So we've been kind of focusing on that. So um, I'm excited to see what they can do when you get out there Thursday. Yeah, a couple of things. Is it, uh, is it weird to start the season on a Thursday or at this point since, you know, they played one game in like two years, does it not even matter? And uh, starting off with a conference game, does that put even more pressure on you guys? Um, not really. My, I mean, this is my third Thursday night opener or second, I think. I know we played obviously Maine, the one opener. And then I want to say we we started another game on Thursday. I don't know, honestly. It was but I mean, two main games, I think. Is it two? One, I, thought one so. away, yeah. I knew there was a Thursday night game we've been a part of before. I think San Diego State was a Thursday night. Was it? Yeah, it could have been, too. I think I, it was. Regardless, I mean, you made this uh, um, a good point. I mean, it's the first game of the year. It would be different, I think, if it was a week three, week four game where, you know, we're playing on a Saturday and we got to get ready for a Thursday game. And this retrospect is honestly better, in my opinion, that because, um, I mean, we're preparing for, like, it's a Saturday game. Then you find out, oh, it's a Thursday game. So now we have a couple of days more to prepare for the next game once we get to that point. But um, I think the Thursday games are, are fun, in my opinion. You know, it's a little different for a lot of the guys. But I mean, it's, like I said, it's the first game of the year. So you could you could prepare for it like a Saturday game if you really want to. 
Um, so. Good. Any more questions for Evan? Great, Evan. Thank you, Thanks, sir. Ben. Appreciate it. Thanks, Evan.